Hello, my name is Mairead Fanning and this is the location Britain. Um, would you like to come in and have a look around? Okay, so follow me into the living room. This is our grade two listed building, which means that you can't touch it really. So in this room, we've pretty much done nothing. We've just painted and this is Denison floor, which was actually already here. And we just cleaned it because it's an incredible floor. And um, all this panelling is just all the original. And this is actually one of the only houses on the street that's got the original panelling. So it's sort of of the historic interest, this house. And I mean, you wouldn't want to do anything with it anyway, because it's beautiful. And then obviously, we just didn't want it to be sort of country home, you know, old fashioned. See, all these shelves are really helpful for shoots as well, because we had someone here last week and they just use all these shelves to put lots of bits and pieces to photograph. And something important in this house as well is we didn't just want to rip everything out. We just wanted to try and reuse and, you know, um, make it as sustainable as possible, really. Not jumping on the bandwagon or anything, but that, we've always done that because um, we think it's a bit, it's kind of vandalism, just throwing everything out every time you move. So a lot of this is, you know, just sort of the original that was here, just cleaned up. When we came to buy this house, we were like, where are the lights? And there aren't actually any central lights or there's just plugs in the floor. That's perfect for here because it's like a central light that you can just plug it in down there. So that was really useful. And that's why we just got lots of little lamps. Like that little one there is just from a vintage shop in Paris because we've got a flat in Paris actually. So a lot of stuff we moved about between the two places, just getting vans. Oh, and the other thing that was good was like, this light's from Mercy, and that's Paris. So if anyone goes to Paris, they go to Mercy because it's incredible. It's right near where we live, which is dangerous. And then it makes it different because you can't get Mercy in London. So it gives it a bit of a different feel really. So the reason we moved here was we thought actually this is like, this is a really mixed residential business area. So it's amazing for shoots because people just don't mind because they're not neighborhoody. Do you know what I mean? They're not out with their kids and on the street. So we had a shoot here last night actually and they said, oh, it's amazing because it's just like nobody bothers you, which I think is a big deal because, um, you know, that can make your life a bit of the misery of neighbors are angry with you with the for the owner and for the people doing the shoot. So that's kind of why we moved here, because we thought, and this wasn't that big a project, to be honest, because as I say, a lot of it was just, um, you know, getting down on your hands and knees and scrubbing that floor because it was filthy. And then we were like painting and obviously like these lights. At first we were like, really? But then you sort of think, well, actually, they're quite nice. And here, actually, they had a kitchen here, the previous owners. So they have this massive island unit here, which we um, got rid of and the kitchen along here and we just thought this is a really nice sitting room so we just literally i mean it's a really good space just to put in and this is pretty amazing this goes all the way across so you could go all the way and then you go on to this amazing view and that's the thing about living in central london I think if you don't have something like that, I'd feel quite claustrophobic, having come from the suburbs, basically. <laughs> You'd feel like, oh no, this is just all a bit too urban. But because we've got this park there, St. John's Gardens, and that little bit's pretty quiet. It's not very many people there. And then we'd sort of taken this bit here as our garden downstairs. You'll see that when you see the kitchen. So he did an amazing job. And this had a kitchen, which I was trying to reuse, but it was just, it was just too woody. You know, it was like an old fashioned wood one, but it wasn't Ikea. So I thought, well, okay, I'll try and revamp it. But then in the end, it would have just all looked too rustic. So that's why we thought that would look good with the, this, the metal with this rusticy tiling. And then that we've had from Viaduct probably 20 years now. I remember getting that when Gable was about three years old. So that's like 20 years old, E15, which is an amazing wood make. But it shows you, you know, we've paid a bit for that, but it's just an incredible table. And then we just got this electric just to be greener, really, not to be gas, which is working really well. It's great, and that's a really nice cooker. We just put that on ourselves. These were somewhere in London Fields, this Scandi house lady going, gave me those like cheap. Those are Mercy, 
there's a Scandi house. So there is a Kana London, which was in London Fields, which is amazing. And then these have been coming from Toast. I got kind of obsessed with those and Popham's up in London Fields. So there's stuff that, and um, that's all we need, basically, really. And we just got a juicer, carol, just everything we need there. Like that, we don't really use, but it looks cute. <laughs> from the flea market in Paris. We have a little bit of garden here. So we've been to Columbia Road and the wholesalers. Um, I still got a bit of work to do just to make it a bit more private around there. But we basically, this is kind of like our little garden. I think the person who lived in was an artist or something. So she was like drawing elephants and stuff on there. So I remember I was like scrubbing it off because it just looked weird. It looked like a penis. So I like scrubbed it off. And then the barkeeper said, oh, well done. That's really good you did that. And I was like, I don't want to get in trouble. It might be like a Banksy or something. But it didn't look right to me. I just been like trying to make it look a bit, you know, just gardeny out here. I think it works because there was nothing here. It was just a complete like tip, and we're the only ones who have access here, which is why it's amazing for shoots at the moment because you know literally you're not bothering anyone. I like these little parts. I think they're really cute. There's quite a few of them. There's about five of these little ones. For me, I like them because you know when you're on Hampstead Heath, I just think, oh God, where's the cafe or the shop? I get like really claustrophobic because I'm quite urban. So this suits us really well. We go up the stairs and this is all the old part of the house, the grade two listed. Um, so this is pretty much again, we just painted it, put the carpet down, which is a lot of work because there's a lot of floors. Then we decided this would be our bedroom. We have sand all the floors because they were all sort of black stain on them. The panelling is so beautiful. And it's just adding sort of modern furniture, really. Like that bed is B and B Italia as well, and then that is that. Oh, I can't remember what those. I know it's called. Oh, Aspland Snow Aspland. I got really obsessed with those because they're such a nice design. This is our roof terrace. So basically, we will um, when we do the work downstairs, we'll just put a staircase up here, probably come out here somewhere from the kitchen. So then you've got proper access because here there was just a massive lift. But obviously we took that out and then we just put um, lots of pots and plants up here that we had in our old house. This is really manageable and we came up here all summer. It was so nice. Oh my God. And it's, it's pretty quiet. I mean, they're doing some work over there, but it's quite amazing because it's so peaceful and you've just got this amazing space in central London, it's massive. And we would just have dinner there. And then you can look over onto the park. Yeah, when you sit there and you're sitting and then you're just looking at all these trees, it's like, it's like incredible that you're in central London, but you've got this. I think that's probably quite attractive to shoots. So here, this is another bedroom. We had a few futon company beds, you know these ones? They're really nice actually. And then this is the bathroom. This bath was here with some really horrible green tiles around it. And then attached was this mad toilet on a throne that you looked at there with mirrors and sinks. So we basically demolished that a bit of it. So I got these from Paris and we, they were quite expensive, but it was kind of worth it. Cause I just thought, I think that would work. And then um, this is water monopoly board. And this vintage is all water monopoly board. So we did, we literally just put the sink here, sink toilet, and we just retiled that and these and tiled it and just did the lighting, just simple. And I, I'm just so happy with that bath. It's incredible. I love it because it's so unique. It's like really vintagey. This is the final floor. This is the most rickety. So basically this is another bedroom with a cat. Hello, lucky. I think they got her in a shop yesterday for an advert they were doing for Google, some new phone. So she's going to be in it. <laughs> this actual room, there was a watchmaker's workshop and that's why it's got all these little windows for the good light. And it's really high up here so you don't hear any noise really. And um, yeah, we just had to do the floor again. It was like some black stain on it. But that's the bit, if you look up there, it's completely crooked there. Those architrave kind of stuff. When you look from here, it's like, and it's like this, you know. <laughs> You, everything is definitely going down in this room. 
Uh, that was really nice to see you and um, had a really lovely time showing you around and telling you about the house and hope to see you at the next shoot.